The city of Boston is working to end the state of gridlock that plagues Massachusetts. Five investigates Mike Bodek giving us an inside look at what the city is doing as Boston faces a growing traffic congestion problem. The magnitude of the Massachusetts congestion problem is crystal clear here. If traffic's bad anywhere, it's likely especially annoying in Boston. Five investigates with an inside look at the city of Boston's traffic management center. This is a powerful tool in the war on congestion, tucked away on the seventh floor of City Hall. When we see an unusual traffic condition, it allows us to go into the computer and make real-time adjustments to the signal. Senior traffic engineer Keith Bynum figures out those decisions by monitoring more than 300 cameras across Boston. It actually does make a difference. You can actually give one approach four or five seconds and you wouldn't believe in 10 minutes how much of a difference that can make. But the struggle to keep up with all the congestion is real. Chris Osgood is the city's chief of the streets, transportation and sanitation. From your perspective, how bad is it? So it's a huge focus for us to address congestion for a number of reasons. The data reveals why congestion is worse. Massachusetts added 350,000 people and 435,000 jobs since 2010, mostly in the Boston area. The city, our population is growing. Our overall number of jobs in the city of Boston is growing. And what we are seeing is uh, some increased delay in how long it takes for somebody to get to their final destination. Those issues underscored in the Massachusetts Department of Transportation's Congestion in the Commonwealth report released in August. It pointed to a lack of reliability and called on everyone to work together to try and resolve the problem. A range of factors created today's growing congestion problem. Only an equally wide range of actions by public and private players can fix it. The city of Boston is already taking steps to relieve congestion. It's added dedicated bus and bike lanes like this one and plans to create even more. The goal, making public transportation a better option. While tons of people are taking that service, more would take it if it were more reliable. And then there are the Ubers and Lyfts clogging city streets. About 42 million rideshare trips started in Boston last year, so the city is looking at ways to give people additional financial incentives for sharing those rides with others. It's also planning to create more dedicated pickup and drop off zones for rideshare companies, which the city says have already resulted in less congestion. If we can address congestion, we're likely able to lower emissions. We're able to, likely able to better connect people to jobs, to schools. A worthy goal, but getting there may be as difficult as getting anywhere right now in and around Boston. Is congestion ever going to go away? I think there are certainly things though that we can do to make everybody's trip to and from their destination uh, much more enjoyable, much more reliable, and much more safe. Five Investigates aired a half-hour special report earlier this month that delved into the many angles surrounding our state of gridlock, including the economic impact and the search for solutions across the region. You can watch it on our website and app. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.